Hi guys, it's Thomas from cotbase.com. Today I want to show you how to use our web page cotbase. Uh, the first thing you're going to see when you log on is the cot charts page. Uh, here you can actually get a brief picture on the recent uh, cot report. And on the left side here you can choose the market that you're interested in. Uh, over here above each chart you can set the cot report that type that you're interested in from the classic uh, to disaggregated traders and financials futures and even uh, commodity index uh, traders reports. Uh, for more information on these reports, uh, just check out our on COT page over here. Uh, you have the option to change the time frame from one month up to five years. So this was the COT charts page. Okay, now let's move on to our main page, the COT analysis page. This is basically a very useful table showing all sorts of statistics. We have the settings on the top where you can define your analysis approach. First off, you can choose the COT report type that you're interested in. Uh, by default, we show you the classic COT report, which has the longest history. Thus, we recommend to use it. Books and articles usually discuss this type of data. Of course, you can have a look at the new type of reports that CFTC publishes every week. If we continue down, we arrive at the COT data type, uh, where you can choose between futures only and futures and options. Uh, obviously, the futures only uh, measures traders' positions in only futures contracts, while the futures and options will measure traders' positions also on the options on futures contracts. Options positions are basically translated to futures contracts by multiplying the number of contracts by their relevant deltas. Now, here I have to tell you something about our data at cotbase.com. We are unique in the sense that uh, we correct past contract size changes and combine mini and normal contracts. To give you a good example, here's wheat. Uh, one wheat contract used to represent 1,000 bushels of wheat. Now it represents 5,000 bushels. Other commitments of Traders Data Services uh, use uncorrected raw COT data. Okay, let's move on. The next setting is pretty simple. You can choose the report you are interested in. Naturally, by default, uh, you're going to be able to see the latest report. But of course, for historical analysis purposes, you can, uh, you can go back in time and check out the older reports. Moving to the right side, you'll find the market settings section where you can define which markets you're interested in. Uh, the market complexes is a special feature of cotbase.com. Uh, we combine positions in similar markets, for example, here in energy complexes. Uh, we combine the positions of crude oil, gasoline, heating oil, and natural gas. If you open the energy complex chart, uh, you'll find a price chart. In this case, it's uh, crude oil and the combined COT charts. Uh, you can choose which market, uh, which market's price chart you're interested in, uh, crude oil, gasoline, heating oil, or natural gas. Over here, we can define the time range of the COT data to set the basis for measuring the latest changes in the data. Uh, let me show you what it means. Let's open the Canadian dollar chart. Uh, here we go. Okay. And uh, see, for example, what the 14% change in commercials positions means. You see, we have the one year time frame set. So that perfectly corresponds to the 52 week change setting since we've got 52 weeks in a year. Uh, if you take the highest and lowest levels of the commercial COT chart, then you'll get the 52-week range. So this 14% change means that in the total range, the latest movement in commercials uh, represents a 14% change compared to the 52-week total range. Now you might ask, how is this helpful for my trading? Well, for those of you who follow my weekly COT reviews, know that each week I check the markets where there are big changes. Uh, since large changes are sometimes great signals. Of course, during long trends, even large signals have to be neglected, but I advise all of you to do some historical research to find similar situations and see what was the price action back then. Uh, actually, to do that, all, all you need to do, let me show you, is just uh, click on this back button over here, and you can go way back in time to see what happened then. Okay, now let's check out the following functions. COT extremes. COT Base constructed this indicator to show you how many reports ago stood the given COT data at the current level. If a reading says all time, that means that the data has never in its history stood at that level, so it has a great significance. 
Uh, let's see an example for that and open uh, Australian dollar. Okay, here we have the chart. There we go. Uh, so here in Australian dollar, we had an all time signal in commercials position. If we open the longer five year chart, uh, you can see that commercials have never stood at this level. Uh, but to understand COT extremes even better, let's check out what the 31 week COT extreme in small speculators means. Well, it basically means that small speculators were at such net short levels 31 weeks ago over here. Pretty simple, right? Now, if you look at the chart carefully, you'll see that there's a very significant correlation between these extremes and the price of the market, in this case, the Australian dollar. Uh, whenever commercials were at an all-time or close to all-time net long level, uh, for instance, uh, over here, even here, here, uh, that usually corresponded to a bottom in the price. Uh, but the opposite is also true, because uh, when they were at a very large net short level, let's say over here, uh, maybe even here, uh, or actually this could be the best uh, example uh, right over there, uh, the price uh, of the, the, the market dropped. So, so I advise everyone watching this video to use our COT extreme indicator. It's a very helpful function of our system. The next function is the long-term trend. Large speculators are generally positioned with the long-term trend. So we added this feature to help you filter out markets that have a, a positive bias uh, when large speculators are net long and the ones with the negative bias when large speculators are net short. To illustrate this, I'll open live cattle's chart uh, on a five year time frame. Here we go. And uh, you'll see that uh, large speculators are above the zero line from here. So, uh, so the long term trend is now up. You know the saying, trend is your friend, right? Well, it's good to know where the trend followers, the large speculators, are headed. Volume and open interest is the next function. Uh, it's a wonderful supplemental tool to COT analysis. Uh, for better understanding, let me show you the following illustration. If prices go up and the volume and open interest is above average, then we can talk about a strong volume and open interest confirmation. Uh, the opposite is also true. If prices fall and it is accompanied by a large volume and open interest, then we can state that the price decline was confirmed. Of course, if prices move in a direction, but the volume and open interest uh, are below average, then we can say that the price movement was not confirmed. At cotbase.com, we constructed a scoring system that shows you how confirmed the price movement of the last week was. Altogether, adding the volume and open interest score together, the maximum score that a market can get is uh, plus or minus 20. For example, in gold, we got a minus 11. So we can conclude that the market forces this week were more bearish than bullish here. This is also true for the opposite. So for example, here in the dollar index, we had a plus 10 score, meaning that it was the strongest currency this week, having higher score than the rest. We also have a separate page for volume and open interest analysis, but I'll talk about it later. So coming back, the last function that we can add is the classic COT index with a three year look back period. But of course you can change that as well over here. Uh, let's open corn on a three year chart. So we've got corn here and three year, there we go. And check what the 71% in the commercial COT index means. So we've got the chart over here. Uh, if we take this three year range of commercials and check where today's level stands, then you'll see that commercials are at a 71%. That's how simple it is. Oh, and of course, in case of commercials, such a reading is a bullish signal since 71% is closer to 100. So the higher the percentage value, the larger the bullish signal. And obviously the opposite is also true. Lower percent means a more bearish signal. But of course, my earlier warning still stands that during a long trend, these signals could be neglected. But do your own research and you'll see what I'm talking about. Okay, so now we went through the settings functions that are available to you today. Uh, yeah, uh, COT base is always working on new developments, so uh, there might be some new functions in the future. Uh, let let me show you how the table works uh, over here and see the simple functions that you can use. 
this top row allows you to order the markets. Uh, by default, they're ordered by uh, alphabetical order. But of course, um, you can uh, order them uh, any way you want. So here, for instance, you're ordering them by total score, or you can uh, order uh, the changes uh, and see where we have the largest changes. So just simply click on these uh, buttons and you'll get them in, in, in the order you want. Now let me talk a bit about the colors. It's actually quite easy to see now that the stronger red colors correspond to larger sell signals, while the stronger green colors to the buy signals. Again, don't forget that during long trends we have to be more careful with our analysis. As I showed to you in some examples, simply clicking on the rows open the charts. Uh, and up here you can uh, set the time frame that you're interested in, and over here you have the option to print. We have some question marks and blue boxes on the page to give you some support if you're looking for information. Of course, if uh, you're looking for the most uh, detailed page, uh, it's our on COT page where, where you can find everything on uh, commitments of traders. Um, and uh, for information on specific markets, uh, just check out our markets covered page. And for more resources, books, and articles, just visit our resources page. Okay, now let us move on to the volume and open interest page. The main difference compared to the volume and open interest function on the COT analysis page is that here you can set the look back period from two days to up to 200 days. The scoring values are calculated on the same basis as for the, the default five days, but we also added a total scoring percentage in the last column. Of course, here you can also define the markets you wish to see. The Highlights page is currently our last main page where we basically, as its name suggests, highlight to you the most important markets. You can also set the table to highlight only the markets where there were trend signals only. These are generally higher probability setups, but on the other hand, they leave out the best risk reward trades coming from pinpointing extremes of current trends. Uh, for historical analysis purposes, of course, you can choose the report issue you are interested in. I hope you enjoyed this video and now you can better understand how to use our service. Uh, of course, if you have questions left, then uh, feel free to write us an email to info at cotbase.com and uh, we'll try to answer them shortly. So that's all. Take care. Bye-bye.